good morning to you all out there and please excuse the wrinkly face but uh, I was up this morning at ridiculous o'clock 3.30 to get down here for sort of 5.36. Um, meant to be a gentle breeze, it's not. Bloody weather forecast. I'm mega grumpy because half of my recording equipment has fallen off, I think, in my either hallway or in my driveway. It's not anywhere between here and the car or in the car. And just bloody sod's law. Um, things not going well to start with, but I'm just going to get some rods out and then uh, we'll come back to um, the camera. So I'll uh, do as best I can in the rather windy conditions. But I'm not going to be wandering around today. I'm just going to have to talk to camera. So catch up. I just wanted to give a, a bit of a shout out while I'm down here to Neil. Neil, I know you're out there, fellow, and really, really thanks for watching. And I also want to give a shout out to Roy Masters, who I met when I was trout fishing earlier in the week. And that was one of those days where I fished there for years, and I've always caught fish. And I thought, you know what? I'll do a really, really good film. I'll take all the clobber down and it'll all go really well. Well, the first thing that went wrong was I couldn't get the recording equipment to sync with the camera equipment, even though it had worked when I left the house. Sod's law. But about an hour and a half later, I got it sorted. There were two fishermen who were leaving and going, oh, it's easy today. They're all taking orange. We've got our limit. And away they went. We then fished all day, me and a number of other anglers, used every fly known to mankind, every method, sinking, floating, point fly, drop a fly, tried it all, nothing. Fished all day. Bloke turns up at lunchtime, pair of jeans, doesn't really look like a fisherman, goes and fishes next to me using the same fly, catches two fish. What is all that about? And then I get back to my car and it's covered in goose shit because some bloody goose had been stood on the top of it, wandering around leaving all these goose green footprints everywhere. It was all down the windscreen, all over the bonnet. And I don't know if you've ever tried to clean shit off with a windscreen wiper, it doesn't work. But there we go. So, fingers crossed for today. Um, I just want to say big thanks to Hazel. She sent me the uh, hoodie, and it's so bloody cold down here today. I do have it on. Ta-da! But, it's also got my fishing channel on the top, but I need warmer weather to wear it. So, big thanks, Hazel, for that. And, um, as I said, my meat, Ross, is now here. He's tackling up. He may well have even caught a fish, knowing how jammy he is, but we'll have a see. Sun has just um, started to peek its head up, and uh, it's half six. Um, still quite windy unfortunately so probably won't be flying the drone today which the idea was I was going to bosh the uh, drone bait out a wee bit of distance. I was going to go to um, the Isle of Sheppey because the wind would have been behind me and it would have been a lot calmer but Ross um, decided he would come down today but he can only stay for a little while and Sheppy's quite a drive for him. So here's a bit closer. So I thought there's always another day at Sheppy and there's always another day doing the drone. So I've come down to Seaford instead. You can see the New Haven arm. But don't know today, um, not really started too well, but we'll see. I've got one rod out and uh, you can just see down there and I'm just about to bosh the other one out. Right, we're going to fish a, let's <laughs> hold the peas, a Pennell Pulley Rig. And I've got a couple of black lug and a squid, two hooks clipped down, whipped on with bait elastic. So I'm gonna hurl this out bloody swimmers what is up with them why they have to swim under the rods is beyond me when they have the sea out to their left but oh no 
the only two rods on the beach are me and Ross. I'm going to show you. If you look the other way, we're the only people on the beach. We're the only fishermen, apart from all the uh, hardened swimmers who uh, come down here, which is one of the reasons I don't come straight out of the car park, because they're literally opposite the car park. And I've learnt to my cost when I've come down before really early, started fishing there, I've had them all around me. Um, hence the wander up the beach, but still quite breezy. Uh, can't really um, <laughs> change that. Water a bit cloudy, tide coming in. I think um, tide today, or low tide, was five something. But I'll check when I get home. Ross, looking lonely as a cloud down there. Just reeled in, thinking he had something, and all he had was a crab. So, completely empty beach, and they're now swimming under Ross's rods, and they're swimming up towards mine. What are they on? There's loads of beach the other way. Why do they have to do it? We've walked up from the car park to show consideration, but there we go, I suppose they've got as much right to be in the sea as I have to be fishing. So take your grumpy face off. Right, I'm going to go and say hello to Ross with a clanking machine behind me. What the hell are they doing, do you think, on here? This lot. They were here the other day dumping all the crap. Maybe they're just levelling it out, making the walk easier back. Yeah, they on doing that. So what are you fishing with today? Uh, squid. Squid. Squid cock. Well, salted black and... Uh, Squid cocktail. And the other one is, what is it? That long one. Ragworm on the other one? Yeah, the long one. Oh, razorfish. Razor, yeah, razorfish. Yeah. A bit of razor. So you've got razorfish on this one? No, I've got one on this, this one. This one? Yeah. No, I've got one on this one. Yeah, no. And what do you got on that one? Uh, just uh, black and tipped with squid. Right. I, I'm not using the rug yet because... You're saving it? Yeah. For a rainy day? If it's not, if it's not <laughs> biting, you know. Yeah, well, I'm using one just to see, you know, what's going on, if they're biting or not. You'll be pleased uh, to know I found the camera equipment. Oh. It was in one of my shoes. <laughs> How the hell could it get in the shoe? It really pissed me off, I cannot tell you. It made me really, really, uh, really, 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 really grumpy that's this morning. Really isn't it? That is so but typical, I've know. calmed down now, but a um, like bit that, too windy to get the old drone up and brush out a weight at the moment, unfortunately. The drone? Yeah, I was going to fly one of the rods yeah. way out with a big bait on it, but... Well, uh, yeah, it's going to get worse later. Yeah, it... Well, it's going to get stronger wind? Yeah. Oh, right, OK, well, maybe next time. Well, there's a few fishermen have uh, now started turning up a bit more civilised than us, I suspect. Um, but I ordered some um, replacement real free camo gear which arrived yesterday and like everything I measured all my this jacket the trousers fit the jacket was too bloody tight because if I put loads of layers under it I couldn't move my arms so jacket gone back new one turning up today <laughs> but my wife said I look like an axe murderer um, <laughs> I don't know whether to be uh, happy perturbed or worried uh, but as I explained to her I won't be wearing it going down the local supermarket it's really just for fishing and some of the other outdoor things that I do but I got a cup of coffee and I'm gonna go and drink it and do the stare of desperation at the end of the fishing rods and see what comes along time is 8.30 and then another universe in another world pre this stupid disease I would have been at work somewhere so I can't really moan that I'm down on the beach although I do go back and start work 
again next week, which I'm really looking forward to, I have to say, just to be uh, out and amongst people again. Be quite a novelty. I have been doing dribs and drabs of work, but I do miss it, I have to say, and I never thought Somebody said that to me five years ago when I was getting up at stupid o'clock to go somewhere. I'd have gone, oh, I'd like the Monday off or the Tuesday or the Wednesday. But it makes you realize that how important some of these things are. The diggers are finally going. Ree! I do wonder if all the clanking up and down the beach, if it cavitates the noise and travels out through the shingle out into the sea. Um, who knows, but they do say that the sort of clanking type sounds does actually travel and particularly if it gets to water it can travel quite far. But that's just another stupid excuse as to why I'm not catching any fish, but there we go. Half past nine. And I only spoke an hour ago nothing an hour ago, reeled the rods in a few times, baits just stripped so I would think crabs. Taken the uh, panel off this one down to a single hook, boshed it out probably about 90 yards, 100 yards thereabouts, two black lug on it, same with the other one, I've stopped using the ragworm and I've boshed that out about 40 yards so one in close, one a bit further out. But there's no rhyme or reason, and the amount of times we've all done this, I'm looking up and down the beach, no one's caught anything. It's really depressing, because I came down here the other day, nothing. Day before, windy. Um, may go to Sheppey tomorrow and see if I can winkle a ray out, which is what I was going to do today, but uh, obviously to accommodate and help Ross out, um, journey-wise, and I like his company, so I came down here today because that's one thing I do have on my hands is a little bit of time. And um, there's always next time, but it's really, really disappointing, I have to say, because you look forward to it so much, get all excited. Um, I was waking up through the night thinking, yay! Yeah, I was all excited driving down here, full of anticipation, and then this. And I can't think of any reason. I can't blame an Eastleigh, because there isn't one. I can't blame there's been a storm, because there hasn't been. I've really no idea and we've picked absolutely nothing which is really surprising because if nothing else you always get a rock thing but Celebi, that's the way it goes I suppose, just got to grow up and accept it. So we have the Trange Manche ferry out there and I can smell all the diesel fumes piling back. Still no fish on the beach, I've just spoken to some old chap who's gone, be patient it could all just turn on a uh, switch, but we're right at the top of the tide now, so I'll fish a bit longer, and fingers crossed, we will see. Half eleven, so since I last spoke, it was half nine, two hours, nothing. Um, there's one chap, a few anglers down, has caught a little flatfish about yay big, nothing, but no one else has had any fish on the beach, few people have gone. All we've been doing is feeding the crabs, I think. Um, but there we go. I'm still going to be patient. Ross is packing up, and this kind of sums up the day. I followed pretty sharp after he'd left. Nothing more to really report. But thanks for watching. Uh, sorry I didn't get any fish. Next, I'm off to either Celsie or to Sheppy with Ross, which is next Friday. Big thanks for all the lovely, lovely comments. Really, really cheers me up. You will um, stay safe and take care out there. Till the next one.